The last broadcast, the static hissed and crackled, like a thousand insects skittering across an old radio dial. Anna hunched closer, squinting at the dusty television set in the abandoned church basement. It flickered erratically, casting grotesque shadows across the cobweb-draped walls. Tonight was the anniversary, and she couldn't miss it. Five years ago, on this very night, Channel 42 went dark. Not with the usual, we'll be back soon, message but with a blood-curdling scream and a flash of static. All attempts to restore the signal failed, leaving behind an unsettling silence in a town shrouded in whispers. Anna, then a teenager obsessed with the paranormal, had been captivated. Tonight, a grainy image flickered into existence. A news anchor, pale and terrified, stared into the camera. His voice, distorted by static, crackled through the speakers. This is the last broadcast from Channel 42. He rasped, we have uncovered a darkness and entity beyond comprehension. It festers in the abandoned mine at Hungers. The broadcast abruptly cut out, the static returning with renewed vigor. Anna's heart hammered in her chest. Was it real? A sick part of her hoped it was. The mystery had consumed her, turning her into a recluse obsessed with the town's forgotten tragedy. Driven by an irresistible pull, she grabbed a flashlight and sprinted towards the abandoned mine on the outskirts of town. The wind howled, carrying the distant echoes of moans and whispers. Reaching the mine entrance, a cavernous maw in the hillside, she hesitated. Fear gnawed at her, but the memory of the terrified anchor urged her forward. Descending into the inky blackness, the air grew thick and stagnant. The only sound was her ragged breaths and the unsettling drip-drip of water echoing through the tunnels. Each creak of the rickety wooden support sent shivers down her spine. Suddenly, a cold gust extinguished her flashlight, plunging her into absolute darkness. Panic clawed at her throat. Then, faint lights flickered ahead, accompanied by the murmur of voices. Drawing closer, she peeked through a gap in the rocks. Her blood ran cold. The flickering lights illuminated a cavernous chamber, filled with dozens of flickering television sets. In their distorted screens, she saw the faces of townspeople, their expressions frozen in screams of terror. Among them, the news anchor from the broadcast, his eyes wide with madness. A chilling realization dawned on her. This wasn't a hidden entity. It was the town itself, their screams, and terror trapped in an endless loop, fueled by her morbid curiosity. The final image that burned into her mind before the darkness swallowed her whole was her own face. Reflected in a cracked television screen, contorted in a silent scream, the next morning, search teams found the abandoned mine entrance open. Inside, only flickering television sets remained, their silent screens echoing the screams of a town forever lost to its own morbid curiosity. The legend of Channel 42 lived on, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurks within the human heart, waiting to be unleashed. Subscribe for more creepy true-to-life ghost-encountered stories to listen.